All right. Oh wait, microphone, microphone. I swear if it does not work this time, I'm gonna throw a fit. Fits will be thrown. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have a cold. So um, I don't know why my audio keeps not recording. I'm very confused. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. I got all ready to film and now this thing is not working. I don't know why. I'm testing to see, it stopped again. Okay, so it seems I could record three seconds at a time. Why can I only record three seconds at a time? Uh... Now that I'm finally recording, my microphone doesn't want to work at all. This isn't doing anything. This makes no difference. Well, let's figure this out. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. Oh, well, that's not good. I wasn't asking you. Hey, Star, can you figure it out? What's wrong with this? Why is it broken? Can you can you fix it with your little paws? All right, so I've been recording for two seconds. Three, six, seven. Did I fix it? I think I fixed it. All I had to do was unplug it and plug it back in. I'm gonna be so paranoid now. Anytime I'm not looking at the screen that it's not recording, but maybe I fixed it. Just unplug it and plug it back in. The try and true method proves itself again. Just kidding, it stopped. I don't know why I'm holding this up to my mouth. What is going on? What is going on? You know, I got this package, 10 18, 21. I got this package. I'll blur out everything else, but yeah, I ordered this package in October of 2021. I don't even remember what it is. I never opened it for whatever reason. I've been using it as a prop to, uh, hold up my microphone. So for whatever's in here that I actually ordered, I've just turned it into this. I don't know if I'll ever open it at this point. All right, hi, welcome back to my channel, the only channel on YouTube where you can find high quality close-up shots of frogs. Is that true? No. But it is the only channel where you can find high def up close photos of my frog. At least I think it is. But either way, this video is about frogs. My frog. My frog that I got in February and I've just never made a video about them. <laughs> so I got a Pac-Man frog again in February and yeah, I wanna show you him cause he's cute and his name is Shu and he's cute. That's the video today. Okay, I'm back now with this, a box with a shoe in it. Or should I say a shoe box? Cause his name is Shu. Um, as you noticed, I'm wearing gloves. In here is my little man. I am going to throw my microphone, I guess. Before I start, before I pick them up, I'm going to, I'm gonna spray them down with safe, it's not tap water, it's safe for them. Basically, the reason I'm doing that, if he would let me pick him up, he's a little slippery. Here is Shoe. He is a good man. I really love him. This is about all he does in life. He sits, and that's about it. That's really all he does. He just likes to, you know, sit. And sometimes he does blink too, it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. These guys don't do a lot. He is still young, so he's gonna get bigger. I'm pretty sure he wasn't sexed when I bought him, so I don't technically know if he's a boy or a girl yet. He is still a juvenile or a sub-adult. He'll get pretty chunky. He's not, he's not full grown at all. As you can see, he's a very elegant walker. He walks, he walks very good. Um, yeah. Now the reason I'm using gloves with him is because Pac-Man frogs breathe through their skin, as do all frogs. They have these tiny little pores all over their body and it allows oxygen to pass through and carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide to be released. I almost said carbon monoxide. So there's these little pores all over their skin and that's how they breathe. So if you have dirty hands and you're handling them, they will breathe in all of that junk and you just don't wanna get, you don't wanna rub all over them and get nasty stuff all over them. It is still safe to hold them for short periods of time with your like bare hands. You just have to make sure they're clean and sterile and not dirty. But to be safe, I'm using gloves. So I'm handling him for a longer period today since it's a whole video. Even though I've basically just completely described Pac-Man frogs and there's really not a lot left to say. The video doesn't have a lot to it. I've had a Pac-Man frog before. My very first Pac-Man frog that I ever had passed away very quick. It was actually one of my very first videos I ever posted. It had a little bit of a funky title. It was titled um, My Frog's Butt Fell Out. 
Um, yeah, that's what happened. It was $148 to treat this little guy. The vet drew me some weird picture. These are the little sutures that are sticking out of his butt. These are some medication I'm supposed to give him every day. It's basically just gonna be extra fluids and things like that if he's having trouble ingesting things. So like I said, he's had a really long day. There are little stitches right there on his butt. He's looking okay very skinny and he just hit a wall so i'm not sure how well he's feeling mentally <laughs> this is a common risk for pac-man frogs impaction can be a very serious issue for them it's basically from overeating because pac-man frogs will basically eat anything that they can get their mouth around and their mouth is very big <laughs> so they will eat a lot they're mostly just a giant stomach with a mouth if it's in front of them they, they they'll eat pretty much whatever and this is something that can lead to impaction where they can't properly pass their bowels and then they have a prolapse and my friend and my Neil, friend Neil over this prolapses can be fixed but it's also a very stressful event that it could still kill them even if you do get it fixed what do we do about it i took my first frog to the vet they helped me put it back inside and he still was so stressed that he didn't start eating and he passed away. The impaction actually happened before I even brought him home. I got him from back when I worked at a pet store and the pet store just did their daily regimen morning and night of just going in there and dumping a bunch of crickets in there and no one kept schedule of like who fed him last and what amount he was fed last so he just kept getting crickets tossed at him twice a day every day and no one really had a set amount to give him they would just toss whatever amount they wanted to in there and clearly he ate more than he could handle and his little booty fell out. YouTube, don't demonetize me. So that's something you really have to be careful with if you do get a Pac-Man frog. It is cool to like watch them eat and you might think that they're hungry because they will eat and eat and eat and eat. It's good to just keep a schedule and feed them a set amount and not overdo it just because they will accept more food because you don't want everything I just explained. Basically, feed a Pac-Man frog what is appropriate for their size, not for their appetite. Another thing that's a little funny about Pac-Man frogs, because, you know, when you envision a frog, as one does, I mean, I'm not speaking for you, I don't know about you, but I know for me personally, I do spend a lot of my time imagining frogs, thinking about frogs. And when one person does this, you might imagine them hopping around, jumping around all over the place, hippity hoppity. The funny thing about Pac-Man frogs is they suck at that. They cannot jump. They don't know how to hop. They are bad at being a frog because I feel like that's a very frog thing to do, you know, to hop. They can do that. I wouldn't say they can't do it, but they are very bad at it. If there was an Olympics for hopping, they would not be, their team would not be allowed. So I wanted to show you this up close and personal. I want you guys to see how my little shoe hops. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how this little man moves around because that's another thing about them. In the wild, they are a sit and wait kind of predator. They're not gonna work for their food. Their food is gonna come to them. They basically just sit in the dirt. That was his hop. Don't worry, I'll show you up close. They basically just sit in the dirt, disguise themselves. They basically just sit in the dirt, disguise themselves within the dirt, wait for the food to pass by. wait for the food to pass by and consume. They're not gonna work for their food. So because of that, their ability to move, their skills when it comes to navigating, they're not very good. They're pretty bad at it. So I'd like to show you. All right, I tried everything I possibly could to get him to demonstrate a jump for you guys. I tried to make the surface a little uneven to motivate him to jump, didn't work. I tried to give him a little rub, which I thought might bother him, but no, he didn't care. I don't know what his deal was this day, but he did not want to jump. I mean, the closest thing I even got to a jump were these little kicks, like he was a bull trying to get me off his back. I don't, I don't know. I tried moving him to a tub in case it was the surface that was causing the problem. Still nothing better. This was not what I was expecting from him, you guys. When I said he was bad, I still meant better than this. And like, his legs do work. Look, he's moving them. He can move them. This is the kind of jump I was expecting. It's bad. It's bad. It's a bad jump. But it's a jump. It's something. You could call that a jump. What he gave me instead, I don't know. You know, the bar was really low. The bar was already incredibly low, but he somehow went lower. I don't know. Whatever.
this is what I was trying to show you guys. Now, obviously this video was not a complete care guide about how to take care of the frogs. That's not the point. I was just kind of wanting to show you my frog, to be honest. I just kind of wanted to show you Shu. So, there he is. There he is. Look at that boy. Wow. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I am working at getting off my medicine, so that's kind of my main focus right now, but it is getting easier now that I'm on a lower dose to start filming more. Um, I'm just gonna keep easing back into it. We're just gonna keep doing this thing. Take it one day at a time. So, thank you guys for listening and for seeing Shu wiggle around. He is okay. He's just not that good at moving, but that's okay. Neither am I. I would love to live the life he lives. I would love to wrap myself up in some dirt and wait for food to come to my mouth. That sounds great, but I can't. So, I mean, I could, but I can't, you know, but I could, but I can't. So I'll leave that up to him. I'll let him keep doing his thing and I'm gonna keep working on trying to learn how to be a human again. So thank you so much for watching and shoe, shoe, shoe says goodbye, you know? He's just, okay, he doesn't want to face the camera. There he is. Look at that man. Look at that boy. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick little video. Bye. Bye.